Hi, welcome to the video on Compensation Management in Multinational Organizations Introduction. Under Unit, Regulatory Bodies for Compensation Management, Course Compensation Management. Compensation Management. Compensation is the amount of remuneration paid to an employee by the employer in return to the employee service to the company. The different aspects of compensation management is already discussed in the, in the first chapter. For multinationals, successfully to manage compensation and benefits requires knowledge of employment and taxation, law, customs, environment, and employment practices of many foreign countries, familiarity with currency fluctuations and the effect of inflation on compensation, and an understanding of why and when special allowances must be supplied and which allowances are necessary in what countries all within the context of shifting political, economic, and social conditions. Let us understand what are the objectives of compensation management. The first objective is recruit and retain more suitable employees in terms of efficiency and cultural adaptability. Second is to secure consistency between pay and performance and, and equity among employees of different nationalities and categories. Third is facilitate mobility from parent company to subsidiaries and from one subsidiary to another. Fourth one, to assist the employee and family to adapt to the host country culture. And fifth one, suit MNO's ability to pay, which ultimately determine quality of employees and MNO's overall employee cost. Sixth one is to reduce employee grievances and simplify collective bargaining procedure. Seventh objective is to motivate employees and enhance better performance, learning latest skills and contribute to the enhancement of organizational performance. And the last one is to ensure that the package, both competitive and comparable, it must always be attractive so that the employee is attracted to foreign assignments. Next, let us understand the complexity of compensation management in MNOs. There are eight categories of issues related to it, starting with exchange rate fluctuation, varying tax rates in different countries, varying inflation rate in different economies, varying local conditions, varying requirements for facilities, and country perspective, consistency and equity, and employee expectation when one employee is transferred to another country, and more importantly, the varying cost of living.